Yes, it, uh, it, was, it was difficult growing up in Sierra Leone. You know, I, my mom left, um, I was six years old and my mom left and we came to the, came to the US um, for a better life and obviously moved me to the US. But right after she left during the same year, that's when the Civil War um, kicked in Sierra Leone. As a kid, you don't really know what the war is. You know, um, you just, oh, there's no school for three months? Oh, fine, we're just hanging out outside, playing football all day, that's fine, you know. I didn't really know that much about it until um, right about 95, you know, that's when it really hit me um, during the Civil War when there was a moment of time where you really didn't know what's going to happen to you. Yeah, I think, you know, season's been great coming back and playing for Columbus, you know, the team that drafted me in 2006. So for me, I can't be more thankful to just be back here and, you know, have the, you know, the best season of my career so far. As a kid, you don't really know what the war is. Then you start losing family members, you know, friends and you know, waking up in the morning and seeing bodies on the ground and vultures eating through people and stuff, and then that actually started hitting. It finally came to a point where we were laying in the room and it was like, okay, when there's ceasefire, we're all gonna run out. We're all gonna run from the eastern, because I'm from the eastern part. After a ceasefire, we're all gonna run to the western part. So we're like, okay, because things are getting really bad. But during this time, as we were waiting, you know, there was heavy fire outside, heavy fire, and the next minute a bullet struck the window, bump. And then right then it just hit. I'm like, we're never gonna make it out of this house. There's no way we're gonna make it to the east if now bullets are actually shooting through our window. Ceasefire came, we moved you know, to the western area for a little bit. A few weeks later after that was when we were able to move out of Sierra Leone. So again, I'm just really blessed to just be here, be in the US and kind of really doing this, playing soccer. And it made me a better man. It made me a better person. I mean, I play with happiness. I play with joy. You know, you see me on social media or you see me on anything that I do. You know, I'm so happy because I just can't believe I'm actually doing this. Why is it me? How did I get the chance to be where I'm at today? Growing up in America, obviously playing in the MLS, it's a dream come true. And finally, I had a choice to either play for the US or going back home and play for Sierra Leone. And I decided that I want to play for Sierra Leone because, you know, it's my birth country and I get to be closer to my family more because they don't get to see me, you know, playing in the MLS. You know, I think about it all the time, you know, what, what it could have been like if I would have played for the US. But then I, I'm so happy I made the decision to play for Sierra Leone because I give back to a country that has nothing. I give hope to a lot of kids back there, you know, on and off the field that don't really have anything to look forward to. Come on. That's it. Um, yeah, heart shaped hand. I actually uh, did it for the first time in Vancouver, Canada, um, a while back, and uh, you know the fans have grabbed it. You know, I do it for the fans. I do it for the people. I do it for you know my family, I do it for everyone. And it's a perfect um, description of my foundation because I'm giving from my heart. You know, I'm giving with my hands from my heart. And it's just like the perfect thing I could do, you know, for Sierra Leone, yeah. MLS Cup is huge. And uh, every team in the whole league want to finish the season and say they're playing in the MLS Cup. This is something, you know, maybe in the first day of the season, we, could, uh, we said that, that's what we wanted but you didn't know how hard it was going to you know, take to get there. So there's, there's, a, lot, there's a lot in, in, in line and I would definitely you know, be giving it my all. And I know that the guys in Columbus and the whole team and the fans and everybody's going to be the same way. That we're going to be giving it our all to make sure that we finish our season uh, with that trophy.